Hey yo, E Kings Fight News. We got Nordino Bali versus Fr uh, Roshi Warren in the undercard of Manny Pacquiao, Adrian Bronner. And this has been a highly competitive fight, a highly entertaining fight. With Ubali boxing from the outside, Rashi Warren trying to box, walking forward. And it seems to me like Ubali is slightly ahead on points. I know Steve Farhood has given him already seven rounds. And we're in the 12th. And I've seen the cleaner, more effective punches coming from Ubali here, who actually has an amateur victory over Rashi Warren. And he might repeat here w w with a, a win in the pros over Rashi Warren. But this is going right down to the wire. I believe he has done enough to win the 12th round. I haven't been scoring the fight, but it seems close. And you never know how these judges have it. It seems like both fighters thought they've won. So here we go, 12th round. Nordinu Bali versus Rashi Warren. Who will win this fight? I know trainer Barry Hunter was urging Rashi Warren throughout the uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th rounds to step it up. To, to push the fight and to try and make something happen. But I do believe that Ubali did enough to win in, in, in this circumstance. Both of them are Olympic standouts. But to me, from what I saw in this fight, I thought Ubali was landing clean shots. Clean, clean shots. According to punch stats, Ubali landed in double digits from round 7 to 12. Whereas Rashi Warren, I'm seeing a lot of single digits. Only four punches landed in round 7, four punches in round 8, four punches in round 9. And Rashi Warren not doing enough punches. Not throwing enough to keep up with Ubali. You know, you know what's really interesting? The kid, Nordin Ubali, he reminds me of like a little Amir Khan. With a chin. Right? So he can box his ass off and he can take a shot. So uh, definitely someone to watch out for. Total punch stats. Jabs. 30 landed from Ubali. 37 from Warren. So it seemed like Warren had an edge with the jabs, but power punches seemed to have gone to Ubali. Richard Schaefer looks quite confident standing in Ubali's corner. And here we go. Here we go. Judge at ringside, Ricardo Ocasio scores about 115 to 113. Judge Julie Letterman sees it 116 to 112. And, and he is now the WBC... There you go. Who is it? Nadine Ubali. Ubali has done it. Ubali has done it. Rashi Warren falls short. Once again, shout out to Nordin Ubali, new WBC bantamweight champion. So congratulations to him, man. He just defeated, uh, actually a close personal friend of Adrian Bronner <laughs> in Rashi Warren. So congratulations to him, man. According to Pauli Malignaggi, he, he gave Ubali a lot of the middle rounds. I, I can't disagree. I can't disagree. Every time I turn my head, I see this guy landing a clean shot. Congratulations to you. Your 15th professional fight, and you're now a champion. What does this mean to you? 
Brother Ali will interview. The first time I was, I want to thank the old people, American and the old people, France and Morocco. There you go, Nordino Bali in the post fight. All right, so Jim Gray just asked, what's the difference in the fight? What separated him versus Ubali, uh, Ubali versus Warren? Ubali's giving a lot of credit to Warren for being slick and smart, but uh, the more accomplished fighter seemed to have won tonight. And, and what Ubali did was so impressive because he, he had the shorter arms, but he controlled the range. He was the one boxing on the outside, uh, getting on the inside of Warren when he needed to, landing clean shots, and, and keeping him off balance. And Warren, the flashy guy, could not uh, get Ubali to respect his space. There you go, man. Congrat, congrats to Nordinu Bali, new WBC bantamweight champion. Uh, I felt like I was doing pretty good in the beginning of the fight. Um, probably after like the fifth or sixth round, I kind of let off the gas, you know, because I was doing a lot of slipping and won't make any pay. And I was using my jab a lot, and, you know, I won't finish it up with my left hand. And the judges saw it the way they saw it. I thought it was a pretty close. But um, he wanted the more, you could tell. Um, he had his foot on the gas, and he was, you know, going out of it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Terrific fight this evening. Well, there you go. Shout out to all my fans that came to see me. It ain't going to be no hit. Rashid not done. You know, the baby face still going to be off the loose. No, still come back and get it. Sam Watson in the background. Just, uh, Sam Watson is always in the background. You know, um, every fight that I lost, this is my third fight. It's always been for a title or losing a title. So, you know, I'm still up in the um, main brackets. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We look forward to it. All right, Mario, back to you. Well, there you have it. Rashi Warren just took another L. Just took a loss to uh, Nordinu Bali. All three judges had Ubali winning by various scorecards, 115-113, 116-112 from Julie Letterman, and 117-111 from Steve Weisfeld. Steve Farhood also had it 116-112, so um, this might be a rarity, but all the judges finally agree on a fight. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen that in quite some time. So there you go, Nordin Nubali gets a victory. Congratulations to him on the Adrian Bronner Manny Pacquiao undercard. I believe Badu Jack should be up next in his fight versus uh, Marcus Brown. That will be very interesting. Badu Jack, um, the Ripper, you know, one of the toughest guys. To, you know, really one of the toughest guys. Very underrated. He seems to have way too many draws on his resume. Uh, draw with Adonis Stevenson. I, I think he caught a draw with... Um, did he catch a draw with George Groves? He's got a few draws that he really shouldn't have. Um, but you know what? Badu Jack should get a victory here tonight. And I like him to beat Marcus Brown. And you know what? Barry Hunter kind of knew they were behind. And he kept telling this guy to work behind the jab because Ubali 
was the one landing shots with with nothing in the way. So um, it ended, you know this could be very this could be very similar to how Adrian Braun or Manny Pacquiao, uh, you know that fight how it plays out because Pacquiao he's the one throwing quick fast shots from the outside from weird angles. And he's the one darting in and out where Adrian Bronner may not be able to adjust to the range, the timing, and the foot speed that Manny Pacquiao brings to the table. Uh, I think that is likely what's going to happen in this matchup. So um, I, I do expect Manny Pacquiao to come out and get the victory in this fight. Uh, so anyway, smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, we got Badu Jack versus uh, Marcus Brown coming right up. And y'all know what it is. E-King Fight News. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel, man.